All right, let's put this one down a little bit more here real quick. All right, great kickoff and be on sides. We need to find 10 players that are going to give 100% effort on every kickoff. All right? That's not every player. Not every player can do that. We've got to find those guys. Who are those guys that care enough about it they're going to do that every play? Okay? Offsides is not acceptable. We cannot have a guy offsides. That's minus five yards. We're going to have to run down the field a second time after a penalty like that. We do not want to have that incurred upon us. Okay? And we want to be a straight line as the ball hits the kicker's foot. Talked about that a little bit earlier, but that's important. We want to make sure we have 10 guys in line hitting at the same time. But the most important thing in bowl, we've got to find 10 guys that are going to give effort. And as you know, it has nothing to do with athletic ability. It's 10 guys that are going to bust their butt, get down there, avoid blocks, and be excited to make the tackle. All right, the speed zone. We've got to use speed until we get within 10 yards of the ball carrier. Okay, we're going to avoid front line blockers to butt side. Now, if they start figuring it out, we have some other things we'll do with speed. But at the end of the day, be a football player and get down there with speed. And once you avoid that guy, get back in your line. Right? Get back where you're going. We all do that drill. When you're going from the sideline, you have a, you have a blocker you know, eight yards away. You have another guy eight more yards away and then a returner. Okay? We do that drill. We run. We beat him with speed to the butt side. We get right back on the line. Okay? It's really important that we can get back into our coverage lanes okay? and, and stay focused there. Okay? If you do get out of your lane, you've got to redirect. Everyone will have a landmark in our, in our kickoff team. You have a landmark, a place you're headed so you find the ball and find the, the locator for the, uh, where the return's going for the other team. So we're running down our lanes, we beat them with speed, we're, we're heading to our landmark, then we'll adjust from our landmark based on where the ball is going. Very important. You want to sprint to the ball, keeping the ball carried to your inside shoulder. So very important as I'm attacking. If I'm on the right side of the kickoff team, the ball should always be on my left shoulder. If I'm on the left side of the ball, on the left side of the field, the ball should be on my right shoulder as I'm running down the field and keeping, content, keeping coverage. All right, eyes and feet. With my eyes, I've got to see the return indicators. I've got to understand what's the call, what the kicker call in the huddle. What are we doing? Is it left, middle, right? Is it short? Is it on the ground? Where's the ball supposed to be going? Not that we always can trust the kicker, right? Sometimes he kicks the ball in the wrong place. But that's what we expect to happen. We'll react if he doesn't kick it there. But understand, where's the ball going? And then what are my indicators? Is it the fullback? Is it the ends? Who is telling me where the ball is going? Right? I'm going to get my eyes on that guy as I'm running down the field, find him, and react to him. Okay, like I said before, it's usually the fullback or the ends. Okay, pay attention to meetings. You've got to pay attention to meetings. We have very, few, very little time in high school. Right? And say no different in college. There's very little time. You've got, got to be on point with our special teams. You've got to listen. You've got to pay attention. And those meetings, we're going to talk to you about the indicators. We're going to watch the film. And then it's on you to watch some film on your own. You have to take it serious. It has to matter to you. If you watch film and it matters to you, you'll make more plays. We all like making plays, so coach your kids to make more plays by paying attention and tell them that stuff in the meetings. Okay? Feet never stop. Again, his eyes and feet. Your feet have got to gain ground. So once I make contact in the contact zone, I'm 10 to 15 yards from the ball, I'm now going to gain ground with my feet. I don't want to make contact and stop my feet and stop moving forward. That creates lanes and returners like that. I always say to our players, Imagine you're the kickoff returner. You catch the ball, you're running full speed at a crowd of people. Would you rather run at a crowd of people that are stopped and waiting or people that are coming at you and throwing bodies at you? I want to throw that blocker at the returner. Okay? Makes a big difference. The collision zone. So I'm, I'm racing down the field, I'm going to make the tackle, I'm converging, get the ball on the right shoulder, whatever that is, and now I'm 10, or 10 yards from the ball carrier, I'm in the collision zone. I want to run through that blocker, I want to take him right to the ball carrier, okay, and keep my feet going forward. I do not want to run around the block. That is the worst thing I can do at that point because now I'm going to create a lane. By me going around the block, now I create an open lane, which is what kickoff return teams want. They want to get a lane and hit it and get off, be off to the races. And you can't say it enough, run your feet on contact, right? Run your feet on contact. Go through that, the blocker, take yourself to the ball carrier. Finish the play. We don't stop playing to the whistle. We should always get 11 guys to the football at the end of the play on kickoff. Always. You make the play. Don't be one of those kids and don't let your kids do this. Don't let them say, oh, he's going to make it, and you kind of slow down and trot around. No, you got to get to the ball too. Don't expect him to make the play because for some reason that guy breaks out, and you've seen it all the time, you know, guys get in a, a little muddle, people all of a sudden the kid comes bursting out of there with the football, 
and then it's a race to the end zone. Okay, play the whole play, finish the play, take good angles, right, and be able to be able to make that tackle. All right. If we get a touchback, we love touchbacks, right? That's our MVP. We put the ball in the end zone, kickoff. They start at 20 every time. That's awesome, right? That's our best player on defense. They have to go 80 yards every play. I mean, every series. That's huge, okay? But if the ball goes in the end zone, we want to race past that ball carrier and make sure he knows we're coming, right? We want to show that energy and zest and want to bring that to him and make sure he knows we'll be coming for him every time. So if he does return one, he's got to be ready to get hit, okay? And we're going to do a good job on that team. And that's just about pride. That's one, two, and pride for this team. 